What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> so, I already lost my train of thought. No. So today's video will be, I just bought a go-kart. So I'll be showing you guys the go-kart that I bought for my, for my kids. Well, mostly for me. No, I'm just kidding. It's for my kids. But that is a video that I'll be doing today. So today's video, I'm going to do two videos today. I bought a package from uh, Go Power Sports. It's a stage one performance and I bought a spark plug, but I also need to do the oil change on this go-kart because when you buy a go-kart, the engine, it has oil, but it's actually a oil break-in. So you break in the motor, you know, put some miles on it, some hours, whatever, some hours on it. So now since I already put some time on it, now I gotta change the oil and put some good oil in it. So. So today, this first video is going to be the oil change and the spark plug on a Trollmaster Mid XRXR because my could go in reverse. So, and it's the 196 CC. And if you have the 212 CC, but that go kart doesn't come with it. But if you guys do have a 212 CC um, Predator or Honda motor or a 196 CC clone, it's the same thing, the same process. So. Uh, I'm just I'm gonna do a little walk around on the go kart. Tell you guys talk talk about it and what I what I like about which I I love this thing. Do a little walk around and I'll show you guys how it looks like. So here's the go kart. This is the go kart that I picked up. I paid a sixteen hundred. Well, actually I paid seventeen fifty for it because um, I think it was a hundred bucks extra if you wanted the reverse option and I wanted the reverse for my kids and it'll just be a lot easier to move around that I'm gonna get out of the go-kart and scoot it over so and that actually all worked out pretty good so this is it this is the Trollmaster Mid XRXR because the reverse and yes you can tell it's kind of dirty because we went through some mud and uh, yeah I like it I love this go-kart like it's it's fun so here's the the motor. It's a 196 cc, uh, 6.5 horsepower. Uh, so I mean, it's pretty pretty basic. It has working lights. Has a horn. Uh, pretty soon I want to get a LED uh, LED bar right on the top. Make it a lot get better uh, vision and light at night when I ride it but yeah you know it's and then on this it's uh, my kids can actually go on it you can actually adjust like the speed of how much uh, throttle you push on the vehicle kind of like a little bump stop let me show you this little it's like a little stop you you loosen it up and only uh, give the go-kart a certain amount of throttle so that's actually pretty good I, I took it off because I'm usually the one riding it even though it should be even though it should be for my kids so like I said today's video is gonna be oil change and spark plug so I got this uh, stage one performance kit it's gonna be a, a different video but you see all that good stuff and this is from go power sports so very very good company I love the, the quality so let me get this bar plug out so this is the Autolite Racing spark plug uh, I was looking up at spark plugs and this they said this is probably one of the best one they have that is the part number AR3910X and then with this spark plug you know how spark plugs you have to gap it whoa this one you don't. So this one is a non-resistant, non-resistant. If I'm saying that right. Anyways, you don't have to gap it. That's all I know. <laughs> um, let me see. Auto light. Um, I don't think the camera's gonna focus on that. Anyways, guys. So. That's a spark plug. So this one, I don't have to gap gap it. I just take off the old one and put in this uh, new one. So that's a that's a good benefit on that. And it's uh, high quality. Well, I hope it's high quality. 
And you got the funnel. Where's my oil? The oil. So, when I bought the go kart and it comes with the manual, it says to put 10W40. Now, I've seen some videos where they put 10W30 or a 30 weight. I'm going to go with whatever the manufacturer says. So, it's 40 weight. So, this is Mobile One. Here's some, some good quality oil right here. Full synthetic. I know it says high mileage, but I just wanted the advanced full synthetic. So, 10W40. The spark plug. And I have this because on this vehicle, you need to add... To fill it up, it takes uh, one pint, like a pint and a quarter, and then for one pint, it's two cups. So I'm going to fill it up to the two and a half, and hopefully that will fill it up to uh, top off the oil. So, And then I have a, uh, a flex funnel, so and it has like a little hose, So, because I'll be doing all the work right there in that tight spot. So... Um, oh, and you'll also need a oil drain pan. I can get mine. There she is. Oh. Okay, so let me, uh, let me take you to the motor and show you what, um, drain nut you guys will be removing. Okay, so you have your drain. Okay. Can you help me out with YouTube? Say hi, YouTube. Okay. I don't think YouTube wants to hear that crying. Okay, so. So, you guys have your oil drain pan right down there. Uh, it's a little light for you guys. And then that bolt. Uh, see my fingertip. That one right there. That's the one you'll be taking off. And this, this black part right here, that is your uh, dipstick. So, oh. you know, what are you doing? So that one, that's the bowl you guys will be taking off to drain your oil. And that's a 12 millimeter sock uh, bolt. So let me get my wrench and let me take that off for you guys. So that way you guys could, uh, well, no, that way so I could drain the oil. Okay, so while I let that oil drain, I'm going to replace the spark plug. So, let me let this zoom in for you guys. Come on, zoom in. There you go. So, your spark plug is right underneath this boot. Take off that boot, the spark plug boot. You hit your head. You're fine. You're okay. It's okay. Okay. Okay, come on. Here, hold this. Hold this. Pull the spark plug, okay? Yeah. So that's the spark plug right there, guys. So um, I have my ratchet and then the spark plug socket. It's a 5 8. So let's. No, mi amor. Let's see. Oh, okay. So looks like this spark plug is a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's not a 5 8. Let me figure out what size okay. that is so I could take that off for you guys. Okay, so I took off that old exhaust and it's sitting right behind my daughter because I'm going to be doing another video of um, me actually changing out this exhaust and putting on a performance exhaust from Go Power Sports. So, uh, in order for me to take off the spark plug, which is actually a um, 20 millimeter or a uh, 13 16th um, 
wrench. So I already broke it off, so I'm taking it off right now as we speak. So, I'm taking this off. Now, there's nothing wrong with the spark plug. I'm still going to keep it. I just uh, figure since I'm going to be adding performance um, parts to this go kart, I might as well uh, get a better performance spark plug, you know? It will only make sense. Well, to me, it will make sense. So, spark plug's still good, as you guys can see. So, I'm still going to keep this just in case. Still going to keep it. So, put this over here. Grab the good one. Now, if you do, if you guys have anti seize, I would suggest putting it on. I don't think I have any. Um, no, that's silicone. Um, okay. So, I don't have any anti seize anti seize so uh, no no little packets no okay so if you, you guys do have an anti seize I suggest you guys putting it on your spark plug I don't have any at the moment so I'm just gonna put this on and then later in the future if I get some hey leave it later in the future hey yeah. you dropped a go-kart you're gonna pay for it so I'm gonna just put this in there and then later in the future, I'll go to O'Reilly's, get some NSCs, take it off, put some on, and then put it back on with the NSCs. So I'm going to run it in. Hey, move. So let's put that in there. Always uh, hand tying it. You okay? Okay. And tying it in. Okay. 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 It's stuck. Daddy. Thing stuck is that gasket. Let me. I just heard something drop in the engine. I don't know what that was. And then when you guys buy a spark plug, it will come like this little gasket. Daddy, who said that? Say what? Who said Okay. It's nothing. Okay, let me fix this gasket, guys, and then I'll tighten it up. Okay, so I fixed that little uh, metal gasket on that spark plug. Hey, can I talk, please? Huh? Thank you. So I fixed a little gasket on that spark plug. So with this spark plug, it is a 5 8 So let me put it on there and tighten her up. Now, you guys don't want to put it too tight because you don't want to break the spark plug in. I've seen it where over time... Uh, this will get so hot that it'll just get stuck in the in the block and then just break so you don't want to have it too tight but then you don't want to have it too loose so just use your best judgment on how tight it should be so I think that should be good right there it's not going nowhere now since your spark plugs on put it back on your boot and that's it that's it for changing your spark plug on the, the go-kart so I believe the oil is done draining. Let me put on that drain plug bolt and uh, fill it up with some oil. All right, I put back on that bolt. And if you guys, I I told you guys earlier to use a ratchet. Don't, cause you guys will uh, probably strip it. So I actually just use a wrench, which uh, 12 millimeter wrench, which worked a lot better getting it from this angle, reaching it right there by the coilover and just tightening it up so that actually helped work in this tight spot so that's probably going to be a best bet on uh, trying to remove it and tightening up this bolt 
You guys don't want to strip this bolt. It'll be in the pain, pain in the ass trying to take it off afterwards with this bar right here in the way. So that's the best bet. That's the best route that I took to take that off, which actually worked. So now you'll take off your dipstick, which is right there. That's your dipstick. Take that off. And that is where you're going to be adding the oil. So remove it and put it to the side. Okay, so I have the oil in that measuring cup, and like I said, it says it takes about a pint and a quarter. Well, I'm pretty sure a pint, well I looked it up, a pint is 16 ounces, two cups, that's where I have it, and I put the the one half. So, but as you guys, as you guys are filling it up, I'm going to add only that one pint. I'm going to check the dipstick, and then, so what I believe also on this dipstick you guys will have like um, looks like two X's right here on the top you guys don't want to have it past that and then you guys want to have it right below that set that first X oh, I really wish this camera could pick that up but please pick it up okay so it won't pick it up so yeah so you want to have it right let's see Let's see, we'll pick it up right here. Right there. There we go. So you guys have like a bunch of X's. So I'm going to fill it up before it gets to this one right here. That little X right here. So I'm going to... Yeah, that's where I'm going to have it at. So let me fill it up with some oil. Some good old Earl. And then... I'll put the rest... And then that's going to end that video after that. So, let me add that oil in right now. Alright, so I've already added the oil. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's a pretty bad storm coming my way in my, in my neighborhood. So, out of the oil, I only added a pint, which is two cups. Let's see what I got. So, it's filled up all the way past the X. And I just did, uh, I looked it up online right now, and that's actually where you want it. So you want to write just above that last, sorry, just above that last X. So that's where I have it all filled up. So it is two cups, guys. Two cups. And I got the little measuring cup at Walmart. I want to say I got it for like 58 cents, a little plastic one. So it will be uh, two cups to fill up your motor. Oh, and then when I drained it, guys, oh, sorry. When I drained it, I actually used my jack just to pick up that ass end just a little bit so the oil's going down at an angle, which actually helped. So, of course, once you guys uh, are done draining it, lower that jack so that way the, 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 the motor's leveled. So, let me uh, tighten this drain plug back up. Tight. There. So that's uh that's about it, guys. On draining, uh, doing an oil change for your 196 CC Trollmaster. Please zoom in. Yeah. So that's about it on doing the uh, oil change on your uh, Trollmaster 196cc and uh, changing the spark plug on this uh, this engine. Oh, and I forgot one thing. So as soon as, as, soon as you guys are done doing your oil change, you guys will want to start your go-kart for about five minutes, get that, that, that new oil running through, your, uh, through, the, through the motor, get it all warmed up, so that way it helps. Well, not that it helps. Just you just want to get all warmed up, you know. That way your motor has all new oil, feels feels a lot better. So that's uh, one thing I forgot to mention. So that's gonna be on. That's gonna be today's video on doing a oil change and spark plug change on a your Trollmaster 196 CC that uh, mid XR. So it's gonna be the same thing for the mid XRX and for the mid XRX 
R because the other R is reverse. So I hope you guys find today's video uh, helpful on doing your oil change and your spark plug re uh, replacement or in Chill Master. And uh, so now I ha so now I have a new toy to work with. So I'll be posting more videos on this as well on my go kart. Well, for my my kids go kart, but I mean it is. I I'm just waiting for. Well, no, my son can drive it. I'll. I'll probably post a, uh, a video of him driving the go-kart so that way my son is seven years old and that way you guys could see if it's a okay go-kart for your for your son if you guys are planning on buying one which I think is very good quality go-kart I, I, I love it so enough of me talking about that so I hope you guys liked this video if you guys did please hit that like button I'm gonna start posting out more videos every uh at least once a video every time I'm on my days off of work. So that'll be maybe about a video a week, maybe, maybe two videos. It all depends on if you guys like it, if you guys comment below. I'm not sure if, it, if these are boring videos. I'm trying to make them kind of fun, kind of exciting. I mean, I'm still new to YouTube, uh, YouTube and making videos. I know I stutter a little bit, kind of get nervous, but I mean, I'm just new to this. I mean, I'm pretty sure in the long, in the long run, with better practice, more more time on the camera, I'll be a, I'll be a lot better on doing this. I'll probably and then I'll probably be a lot better also on editing. I know I see some um, videos on editing and spot on, they're, they're good. So, like I said, if you guys like this uh, like this video, please hit that like button, hit that bell notification so that you guys are posted or know or up to date on new videos that I post. And comment below if you guys have any questions or any. Give me some feedback. You know, I mean, yes, it could be it'll be it could be negative, it, it could be positive. If it's negative, you know, what, I'll take I'll I'll take the negative comments and try to flip that into a positive. You know, get a positive outlook on that for my next video. So, um, if you guys comment down below, it'll probably take me about a good while for me to comment back. So I'll probably be at work. But uh, with all that said. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace.